Hi, I'm Chef David Hill. We are here at Hillside Texas Bistro, the restaurant of the Hillside Boutique Hotel in Castroville. We have the Alsatian sausage, which is a locally made sausage from Zoop's Meat Market. Very famous for doing their sausages. <laughs> the Daughters of the Republic of Texas Pioneers Chapter. My three beautiful children are members of the CIT. My family traveled here 175 years ago from Alsace, France. Before we begin, I want to pay tribute to our city's storied past. For those of you that don't know, Castroville was founded by settlers from Alsace, France. That's why we're called the Little Alsace France. of Texas. France. Alsace sits on the border of France and Germany. You can see the old world charm of these influences in Castroville to this day. If you travel back 175 years ago, Texas was a dangerous frontier. Attacks by the Mexican armies, Comanche Indians, and even bears were very common. Texas was in debt and in trouble. It called to US and Europe seeking settlers to colonize this wild land. Meanwhile, Europe was in a period of political and economic turmoil. Henry Castro, a wealthy banker in France, answered the call and recruited hundreds of German and French immigrants looking for a fresh start and a new adventure. Free Texas land sounded like a dream come true to those in Europe, where land was hard to come by and very, very expensive. So, very traditional recipes from the Alsace region um, that have made their way to this area. Some of them, some of them are not really around that much, but some of them are. Uh, the sausage we got from Zoops, so we paired up with people that are much. Uh, the first course, we're going to come out and um, Matt Hughes is going to talk about the wines. I'm going to talk about the food in between each course. That will give you a chance to ask either of us questions. The more questions you ask me, the longer the food takes to make. I'm getting an Alsatian flatbread. And it's made with fromage blanc, which you can either buy or you can do what we did. We made our own. And so we made our own fromage blanc with caramelized onions and bacon on top. So our own flatbread. We have a beautiful oven back there to make flatbreads. So those are going to be all coming out here momentarily. And Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing? Great. Great. Okay. Uh, who, is, who is from Castroville? Uh, anybody still speaks Alsatian? A little bit? A bissele, okay. So I should say, salut bis sommer wie geht's? Meaning, good evening everybody, how is everybody doing? Uh, my name is Mathieu Muckenstrom, first name French, last name German, classic for a typical Alsatian person. Uh, tonight we're going to have wonderful wine from Alsace and I'm super excited to be able to present them. Um, we're going to start with the Institute of Wine of Alsace gave me a couple of documents that I put in the center of the table. We got a full wine, a full map of Alsace. We got a little document that talks about the Grand Cru from Alsace, which is 51 designated vineyards that are very special. And uh, we also have a document with Cremant d'Alsace, which is uh, the sparkling wines uh, from Alsace. Tonight, we're starting with a sparkling wine from the Gustave Lorenz family. The Gustave Lorenz family has been around since 1836. Five generations down, a couple of single vineyards, four or two Grand Cru in their portfolio. Uh, they're doing some amazing gastronomic wines. We've been doing sparkling wine in Alsace since the 1900s. Um, so for quite some time. Uh, it's made in the same method as champagne. It's referred to as Cremant because it's not coming from the Champagne region. It is the second region um, with the top selling sparkling wine from France. So this is a very traditional Alsatian stew. They do this on Sundays typically, you know, family oriented. And it's called... Beckerhofer. That too. <laughs> Beckerhofer. So it means uh, baker's oven. So very traditional. Um, it has we did brisket and we did uh, pork in it tonight for you. A bunch of vegetables: leeks, onions, carrots, fearling potatoes, 
a nice chicken broth with thyme, garlic. Uh, it's all marinated in a lot of white wine, and then it's cooked down, and you have a bunch of yummy happiness. It's been in the hour in the, been in the oven for about seven hours. Wow. It's excellent. Oh, so. Horse man dish originally, and it's called the uh, baker's oven because um, on Sunday night when the baker was done was like baking all the breads for the week. People will bring their vegetables and their chopped up meat and put it in a pot and it will just stuff all that in the oven overnight and they will come pick it up on Monday morning and have dinner for the Monday morning when they come home from work. Alsatian dish uh, comes with pork and an Alsatian sausage, which as I mentioned earlier, the Alsatian sausage from Zooks. That way. And um, <laughs> sure. And uh, then we did a little different take on pork. We did a pork belly, so it's uh, slow roasted in the oven and basted with a uh, cracked red pepper, vinegar, and local honey. Uh, kind of like you would do barbecue. You baste the suckling pig or something as you cook it for a long time. Keeps it nice and moist. We did our own uh, sauerkraut with apples and caramelized onions in it and some leeks. And then finished it up because you need something different. It's an au gratin potato, so it's got a white cheddar. Yeah, again, a little Texas in there. Sorry. Uh, but it's more of a custardy uh, au gratin potato. So not as much cheese. There's still cheese, but a little more custardy. So it kind of balances out the leanness that's going on. And then you have the fatty with the pork belly and a little more vinegar on top. And we did a whole grain mustard oil as well.